Who is it? What is it? What is the show? We all know what it is. It is Monday Movie Pickup! Had Stuart Little 2 on DVD for years, and uh, I saw that both Stuart Little 1 and 2 were on Blu-ray, and they were not that expensive on Amazon, so I decided if I'm replacing the first one, I might as well replacing the second one, might as well get the first one, and uh, here it is. Uh, still haven't gotten the second one in the mail, so just gotta wait for that a little longer. I haven't seen the first one probably since it came out, so I'm excited to give this another watch. Looney Tunes back in action, you know, I just watched this recently. Uh, Brendan Fraser, he needs to come back. Uh, he actually is gonna be in a new show, so that's uh, it's pretty awesome. He actually had an interview and everything, so people were talking about him again for a while. He was even trending on Twitter, it was awesome, but uh, I do like, uh, I do like this movie. I don't, I don't know, it's, it's a better Looney Tunes movie than Space Jam, but it still wasn't, you know, it obviously wasn't that successful, and I wish it would have been, but you know, it still had a lot of problems to it. But I do, I, I've given it a watch a number of times. I enjoy aspects of it, but there's parts of it that I wish they uh, would have done better, or you know, I don't know. I, don't know. It, I think it's difficult to make a movie like this to begin with, and the fact that they tried really says a lot. Austin Powers series, I literally just rewatched this. Uh, I used, I, I liked the first one, and uh, hadn't seen it in years, and I, I think it still holds up pretty well. I think there's a lot of, it's not the funniest movie, but the movie isn't littered with bad jokes. Every single joke that's in it is a complete hit. Everything works in it, but it's just that there's not as many jokes as you'd expect. But they all work, so that to me makes it worth it. The other two films, uh, I think they just kind of get worse and worse. Spy Who Shagged Me has the problem of having the character Fat Bastard, who's just... He is one of the worst characters ever created for any film that's just not funny. Goldmember has the problem of including even more characters, and... It included time travel, I enjoyed that aspect of it, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing the fourth one made, but at this point, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. Monsters vs. Aliens, this was an upgrade from the DVD that I had, and uh, you know what's weird about this Blu-ray is the fact that inside, they actually have 3D glasses. They weren't even open, so someone uh, had this apparently, I mean this was a used a copy of the film, but never took out the 3D glasses for, uh, I believe it's Bob's Big Break, yeah, in 3D, and not the professional 3D television that has actually dwindled in the last couple years, 3D didn't take off the way they thought, people just <laughs> didn't care for the gimmick that much, but for the 3D that was on the regular Blu-ray, I guess you need the blue and red <laughs> uh, colored 3D glasses, which crazy. Without a Paddle, uh, this is a movie that I upgraded from DVD. I remember we saw this in theaters and we missed, I think, the first 20 minutes of the movie. <laughs> I would never do that today, but that's just how it was back in the day, you know? The family was going to a movie and we already missed a little bit of it, well, who cares? At this point, we already drove 40 miles to the movie theater. Gotta see the movie now. This movie, um has not aged well. It's actually not that great of a movie, but you know, I've, I've seen it a couple times. I remember liking it a lot as I, uh, you know, I saw it as a kid and then, you know, I when I got into my teenage years, the early half of it, I, I started liking it even more, but a lot of it is just juvenile humor. It's just one of those bad PG-13 movies that were coming out at the time that most people forgot about, but hey, look, I remember it still. I found a used copy on Amazon for a buck. <laughs> and we finished off the Jaws collection with Jaws 3, of course, which apparently includes no special features except for the fact that you can watch it in 3D, which uh, this is actually made for a 3D television, and this was the first time, I believe, that you could watch Jaws 3D in uh, in the actual 3D on a home video release. I don't think they've ever actually, even when it was on DVD, I don't think they ever did, did the blue and red colored glasses. I'm pretty sure they've never actually released it in 3D. Even on the cover, they don't still call, they don't call it Jaws 3D, which my problem with those kind of titles is that if you're gonna call it the gimmick title, like something like Jaws 3D, 
don't change it to Jaws 3 later. I mean, I would stick with the title. I mean, if you're gonna call it that, go for it, don't, I don't know. I hate movies that have multiple titles, but. <laughs> well, that was this week. Probably won't be as many next week. See ya.